Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium C series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So I'm gonna do an updated planner system video. If you guys didn't see my first initial planning system, I will leave a link to it up here for you guys to check out. But now that we are approaching July, I have started to tweak my system a bit. There are some things that I'm still going to be using for the rest of the year. But as you guys can see here, there are some new planners, new systems that I'm going to be switching into. I just want to try them out and see how they work for me. Um, the reason why I needed a change is because now that my shop is offering physical stickers in addition to the printables, I just need a lot more space. It requires a lot more planning and I just needed bigger planners. And so I have here some new planners that I'm going to be trying out for the second half of the year. And I'm hoping that they will give me planner peace. There's nothing wrong with the other planners that I was using. Um, I just found that um, things were getting a little bit too cluttered. They were getting messy because I was putting everything like my shop, my work as an author, YouTube, um, my reviewing gig as well. There was just too much information all in one planner. And so that's why I have multiple planners here. It's because I want to delegate a certain planner for a certain um, part of my life. So hopefully you will understand by the end of this video why I need these many planners because I have different jobs and different responsibilities. I feel like it's definitely needed. So I'm gonna go through all of the different systems. So I'm really excited about it and I'm hoping that it will keep me organized. So this is what I'm hoping to work with for the next six months and I'll definitely update you guys and kind of show you how I'm using each individual planner throughout the year with plan with me videos, flip throughs and things like that. So I'm just going to go through each one of these and we'll kind of talk about how I'm going to be using it. So let's probably start with the biggest size first and then we'll go into the smallest size. I think that makes the most sense and you'll kind of see how I'm hoping to use all of these planners. So I'm just going to move all of these off to the side first. Let's go in with this guy. This is an A5 wide or a Stell planner. I have it in the pink paw. So this was one of her newest releases and she came out with a black and a pink one. So I got the pink one, of course, and I just love it. So if you guys haven't seen this yet, I do have a video already on it and I do my plan with me videos on this. This is my memory planner. So um, I have my current spring set up here right now. It just has a little bit of deco here on this side. I have my dashboards and all the inserts that I use in here are from my shop. These are printables. So you guys can always use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off if you guys are interested in these. But I have a year to glance here and then you have the important dates on the other side. So if you guys watch my with me videos then you probably have seen all these already so i do my forward planning for my monthlies in this so this is one of my favorite kits that i use blossom from my shop and then the latest one is this one for june i use the mason kit from my shop and then this is what the insert looks blank so you can use erin condren kits with this again i have sticker kits for this insert in my shop um, and then in the next section here, I do have my weeklies. So this is where I do all of my memory planning. If you guys watch those plan with me videos, you'll be familiar with all of these. So I will leave a link to my plan with me playlist if you guys are interested in it. But basically this is my memory planner. I do this at the end of the week so that I have like a kind of overview of what happened. It allows me to use my sticker kits. Um, I love stickers and washi, so this is where I kind of get creative with the kind of decorative style of planning. Again, using inserts from my shop, so if you guys are interested in these, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. And then over here, I do also have my trackers, so I do keep track of what kits I'm using in my B6 as well as this A5Y planner. So I use this insert 
from my shop to do that. It just has the weeks there and I list out all the kits from either my shop or other shops that I'm using. So again, I have a video kind of outlining how I do all this. So that one is for my memory planner and then this one is for my B6. That's how I plan out my kits for that. Um, and then at the back here, I just have reference notes. So these are the two column list inserts from my shop and I just have um, the stickers that I have from other shops that I want to use up. So I just have a list of that all in here. And then I also have some lined inserts from my shop just for any notes. So that's my notes section. And then towards the back here, I'm not going to show you, but I do have some work things. Um, I work as an author and so I do have a little bit of my outlining for my books in this. I also have some worksheets that I like to fill out before I write a book. So that information is here at the back with my memory planner. So this guy is not going to change. I love it way too much to ever consider moving out of it. This system has been working very well for me for the past several years and you guys know um, I'm a ring bound planner girl at heart. I just love that I can customize anything and everything in here from the inserts, the dashboards, the deco. It's just perfect. Um, I just love the versatility that you get with a ring bound planner and this size, this A5 wide size is just perfect for me. I find that now that I'm busier, I am looking at larger planners. So smaller planners just don't really cut it for me now. That's why I'm kind of struggling with the Hobonichi weeks. It's just too small for me to write everything that I need to do. So that's why I find that having a bigger planner like this is going to be crucial for me. So this is the first planner, my memory planner, and this has stayed from my first planner system video. So that is not changing. What is changing are the next couple of planners. So this is my new daily planner. This is from Erin Condren. It's the Daily Duo in the A5 size. They do offer it in the 7x9 if you guys are interested in that. But this is hopefully what's going to be replacing my Hobonichi Cousin. The issue that I was running into with the Hobonichi Cousin was that I was using it for everything. So it had my job as an author, YouTube, my shop, my gig as a reviewer, and it was just getting too much to also put my social plans as well as chores and just house information. So I have started to delegate planners for each aspect of my life and I'm planning on making this one for my job as an author only. So I will have a different planner for YouTube and shop, which I will show you in a second. But if you guys have not seen this, it has a kind of similar idea of the Hobonichi Cousin, where you have the year split into two, but this one goes from July to December, and then the other one here goes from January to June. So that's why I thought that it would be a great time to give this planner a test run, because in case this doesn't work out, I still have time come September to purchase a Hobonichi Cousin once again. What I like about this planner is that it has the white pages. You can use any pen that you want um, and you have a place to put your goals in or your important dates. You have the calendars already there for you as well. And then you have a monthly calendar. And as you guys can see, I've kind of plotted out all the things that are going on for me for my job as an author. So for example, I have a book coming out at the end of this month and so the book needs to go to the editor, it needs to go to the proofreader, the formatter, and all that kind of stuff within this month. And so it's going to be pretty busy for me as you guys can see. Imagine if I tried to put my shop stuff in here, my YouTube stuff, it just would be too much. So I'm going to be making kits for this planner for the monthly, the dashboard, as well as the daily parts of this planner. So definitely stay tuned for that if you guys are interested in it. This calendar will only be for my job as an author. And then on this page, what I really liked about this is it reminds me of the this month dashboard that I have from my shop. It's a printable that you can print and cut yourself and just paste it in to your Hobonichi. I have a video on how I did that, so if you guys wanna see that video, I will link it. But this kinda of reminds me of it. So you have all these boxes, which you can do anything that you want with. 
I'm probably going to put my master to-do list for the month here and then break these up into trackers, goals, to-do lists, project sections, and things like that. Again, I will be having dashboard kits for this, so I will do some videos on it once I start to set it up. And then everything else is just your daily pages. So you get a day per page. And what I like is that the timeline goes the whole length of the A5 page. So it goes from six to seven, which works perfectly for me. You have a to-do section and a blank note space. And I will show you how I'm going to be using my kits in this planner to functionally plan. But I just find this layout a little bit nicer than the Hobonichi. With the Hobonichi Cousin, I find that the grid is a little bit too small for me to write in, and that's why you see me always skipping lines because I do not like my writing to touch each other. I know that sounds a little bit weird. I also have been having pain in my wrist and that's just due to writing a lot. I'm always on the computer or physically writing things out and so I just discovered that when I was writing in my Hobonichis that my wrist would hurt after and I think that's just due to forcing myself to write so small and so I don't want my wrist to get worse. So I'm trying this planner out to see if that will kind of help me so that I can write with my normal handwriting and we'll see if this works. What I like about this is that it has white thick paper so it doesn't matter you know, what pen I use, it won't smudge. So I can just pick up any pen, whatever, and just write down what I need to do that day. So with this planner, you have the whole week and it has a day per page. And then at the end of the week, what I like also is that it has a lined page here and you can do anything that you want with it. I'm gonna be offering a add-on to my daily kit where you can set up this page as a week at a glance. So again, I will show you that in a future plan with me. I'm really excited about this layout though. I think it's going to be great. And it, hopefully it will give me the planner piece that I need. This is one of the new changes that I've made to my planner system. If you guys are curious about the covers, this right here is the Wonton in a Million collab. So I just got it from the Erin Condren store and you can personalize it. So I just have my name there and I love that it has the gold foiling on it. On the second half of the year, I do have the Hello Kitty Zodiac one, which I think is so pretty. If you guys are curious also about the inside, I do have the In Bloom. Um, interior so that is why there are flowers there so that is my new uh, changes for my daily planner next up I will show you another planner that I got from Erin Condren so this is another a5 size planner from Erin Condren and this is the color blends compact vertical layout so this is a new style of layout that Erin Condren has put out. As you guys can see, it's a colorful planner, which is a little bit unlike me. It's different. I have always bought the neutral planners from Erin Condren, so this is my very first colorful one. As you guys can see, it's pretty simple, and that's kind of what I wanted. So even though it's very bright, there's no pattern on it, which is what I wanted. So uh, as you guys can see, the monthly is very minimal. So you have just the date there and then just this line. And I find that if you are going to be using stickers with this planner, it's so easy to cover it up. So you would just have two stickers here at the top and you can do whatever kind of design or spread that you want in this. So that's why I picked the color blends, whereas the neutral harmony and the colorful harmony, they do kind of have that pattern still on the monthlies and I didn't want to have that. So even though this is colorful, it's still very simple. So this planner is going to be my new YouTube planner. So I need a monthly, which I plot out what I'm going to be uploading each day. So this is very, very important for me because this is where I put in all my videos. And then, at the beginning of each month. Again, you have a dashboard. What I like about this one is that it's very minimal. You just have this, which you can easily cover up with a sticker. And again, you can cover this up really easily if you want. 
So here I'm going to be writing out all the videos that I need to film in this particular month as well as the stats. And then when you get into the weekly format, it's very simple. It's four days on a page. So it goes from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on one side. And then on the second side, you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a little section here for any notes that you have. So this is what I am going to be using as my YouTube planner. I'm going to just write out my to-do list here and then use this section as a sidebar. So it's going to be very, very simple. This one doesn't have the extra note pages within the weeks. You just have the note page at the beginning of each month. So I think this is going to work really well for me. I was using the Hobonichi A5 Day Free and I was getting really, really tired of drawing the layouts in that because it is just a grid. You basically only have the monthlies laid out for you. So this is how I would lay it out in my planner with the four boxes. So the fact that this is already dated and it already has all the lines there for me is perfect. It means that I don't have to draw it in every week. I just find that because I'm so busy, I don't have the time to do that anymore. So. I'm hoping that this will work out for me. I'm really excited about this planner. Again, I got this from Erin Condren and I did personalize the cover on. This is the new Cruisin cover in the A5 size and I really like it because the colors kind of pick up the color blends. So I really like that. So this is going to be my new YouTube planner. I'm really, really excited about it for shop. I have moved into a B6 Stylogy. So if you guys have watched my plan with me videos, I've been using this for maybe a month or two now. Um, I have an Orstel cover on mine and it's in the Enchanted Indigo color and I just love this cover. I think it's so cute. You guys know that I love the scallops. So here I have my B6 Stylogy. I will leave a link to where you can buy this. It's just off of Amazon and in here, I keep only shop stuff. So I have these printables. These are available in my shop. Just look up B6 Stylogy on my website and you can find it all there. I have an important dates calendar and then I also have these printables that you can get. This is the 2022 calendar and I offer it in the pink colorway as well as the gray if you're more minimal. And then you can choose from the different fonts as well. So I have it in the Monday start, but there's a Sunday start in the shop as well. And then these inserts are also from my shop. These are actually the ring bound inserts and I chose the personal wide size. Personal wide is just a tiny bit smaller than the B6. I do also have this insert in the B6 ring size. So if you want the exact measurements of the B6, then you can use that one instead. But because I wanna make it a little bit smaller, than the B6 notebook. I went with personal wide instead and you don't need to make any adjustments. You can just print as is. So as you guys can see, I chose a Monday start in my shop and this is what I'm using as my shop calendar. So I started it in April because that is when I started stocking the physical stickers in my shop. So this is April and then I have May here and I have plan with me videos on all of this and how I set it up. So you guys can check that out if you guys wish. And then this is June. And what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and put all the months together. So I know that some people put the month at the beginning of each of the weeklies or dailies, but I don't want that because I am going to be future planning. So I want all the months already. So I put all the way up to December already. So I have July, August, September, October, November, December already ready for me, but I don't decorate it until the month starts. So here's the beginning of my pages for each month. I just have a little title page here for May. And this again is a printable from my shop. It's the monthly dashboard. And in here, I just have my to-do list for my shop and eat notes. And at the bottom here, you have four boxes and you can actually break it up into anything that you want. So I just put my goals. So for example, I wanted to open up a Shopify site. So I have a section for that. I was releasing bow icons in my shop, albums, as well as monthly kits. And so each kind of collection has its own box. 
So again, if you guys are interested in these printables, you can find them in my shop and use the code SAVE10 to save 10%. I'm just going to cover this section here because there's some confidential information, but I do have my daily tracker here on this side. So with my daily tracker, you just have the dates that go from 1 to 31, and I've been keeping track of my social media here as well as whenever I go to the post office and bookkeeping. I did not keep track of my post office visits, but I go every single week, so I just need to go back and check that off but I check off whenever I post Instagram or TikTok or YouTube. So that has been really handy for me. And again, this is an insert that you can pick up from my shop. Next up on this page, I have my finance tracker, which is why I'm covering up. This just has any shop expenses. So anything that I buy from my shop, any clip arts, um, any supplies like cello bags, sticker paper, things like that. Whatever I spend for my shop gets noted down on this page and I just list it out. I don't use an insert for it and I just decorated it really cutely with these die cut stickers. So that is my finance tracker. And then we go into my weekly. So this was my very first spread here um, and I do change it up here. So as you guys can see, I did end up doing a week on four pages here and I really enjoyed that. What I like about the Stalogy is that if you need to make lists, like this week I needed extra list space, so I just made it. So that's what I love about this planner. It's been really fun for me to decorate this planner um, and make it functional for me. So I've been really, really loving this planner so far. I think it's just the perfect size. It's very open-ended, so I like that if I need daily page then boom right here I have a daily page so it's whatever I need I can do it in this planner so that is how I am using my B6 Stalogy again I have flip throughs and plan with me videos on this so if you guys would like to see this in more detail definitely check out those videos so that is another new planner to my system and then the very last planner that I have here is this little pocket planner. So this is my on the go planner. This is what I keep in my purse. And I just changed out the cover. I moved into my new Oristel Cloud in the Rose Quartz, but I do just have the same inserts and dashboards as I had in my last flip. I just changed out the cover. So I like this cover because you do have the big back pocket. I put my receipts in here. So that has been really handy for me and I really like this extra pocket here because you can fit stickers, coins, whatever you need. So it's really, really handy. And then in here, I mostly have inserts from my shop. So I will quickly go through everything. So here, as you guys can see, I have a yearly calendar. This is from my shop. And then I just go into a monthly calendar. So this is where I would put in any appointments. If I'm at the dentist and they want to do a follow-up checkup, then I will refer to this to see what dates I have open. So that has been really handy. And then next up, I do just have a weekly. I don't typically need a weekly in here. I mostly use dailies, but in case I do need a weekly, uh, I just have a couple of those in there, but I mostly, like I said, use the dailies here. So I just have a list and then some grid space. And then here is the most important space for me. This is where I keep track of my finances. So what I spend on the go. So obviously I have my credit card, which keeps track of it, but I like to have it in here so that when I am doing my bookkeeping, I can glance here and do it really quickly than having to keep checking all the different websites and whatnot. So this has been really integral for me, especially since I have all the receipts that I get. I just put them in there. So, you know, once a week, twice a week, I will just take out all the receipts, mark them down in here so that if I am doing my bookkeeping, I just have it all in one spot. So that has been really helpful for me. And then here I just have some lists. So these are the list inserts for my shop. So I have a, a planner wish list, which actually I do have these items already. This one is no longer available. So there we go. 
Um, I just have all those there and then here I have other types of lists. So these are just shopping lists, so whatever shop I'm going to, sometimes I'll just check in here to see, like for example, I have a Walmart list, Sephora, Amazon, Hobonichi, um, and then here at the back, I just have some grid. So in this section, I have been marking down recipes. I don't write the instructions or like the directions. I just put the ingredients here so that if I'm at the grocery store and I need to pick something up, I can just glance at this recipe list for the ingredients. So that has been really helpful for me. And then at the very back, I do have a contacts list. So I'm not gonna show you that, but it just has some addresses and the emergency contacts that I may need. Obviously I have that all on my phone as well, but because my phone dies a lot, I just wanna have that handy. And then at the back here, I just have a Filofax top loading pocket. In there I have some business cards as well. And then I also put coupons that I get so I'll put those in there. So this is basically just stuff that I would need on the go. It's not like my everyday type of planning, but I love this planner. It's so, so cute. And I love how I set it up. I think it's very functional. So that is the last planner that I want to share with you. Hopefully by now you can kind of understand what I mean by delegating the different aspects of my life into different planners so that it doesn't get all jumbled together. I have enough space for everything and it's also very organized. So this is my pocket rings. This is my on the go planner. And then I have an Erin Condren compact vertical, which is going to be my new YouTube planner. And then I have my B6 Stalogy here, which is for my shop. And then I have my two daily planners. You'll only be using one of these at a time, so I'll remove this one for now. I have my daily duo from Erin Condren as my job as an author. And then the A5 wide is my memory planner. So this is where the fun stuff happens. So as you guys can see, I've got a lot of planners here, but hopefully you can understand why I need them and why they are functional for me. I will still probably be using my Hobonichi Weeks and Cousin on the side, just in case that these new planners from Erin Condren don't work out for me. So we'll see about that. I will definitely update you again if I end up changing my system. So that is everything that I want to cover for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys are interested in the stickers or inserts from my shop, you guys can always use the code save 10 to save 10% off of your order. I do have an Etsy shop as well as a standalone Shopify website. So you guys can use the code on either one of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down below for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.